Hi, my name is Simone Vitale and I'm making this video to reply to many questions I have received um, about the music of the plants. I have several recordings that I, that I put on my YouTube channel and, and they are available on my website and people ask me a lot of questions about this and one question that I receive very often is that um, whether the sound that you can hear in the recording is coming directly from the plant. So some people find it difficult to understand what they are actually listening to whether uh, and, and they, they some people also think that the sound that they are listening to is coming directly from the plant and I would like to explain a little bit how this works. This video is made for people who do not have an understanding of musical t technology so I'm going to explain a very very basic um, element in the process of the music of the plant which is the connection, um, the MIDI connection. I would like to explain um, what this is because it will make the whole process very clear to understand. So MIDI is a technology that is used in music and it, it is a kind of connection that allows um, digital instruments to interact with each other. So for example I have a keyboard here. This is a MIDI keyboard. If I switch this keyboard on and I play, there is no sound. And there is no sound because this is only a controller. So this keyboard needs to get the sounds from um, a sound module or a source of sounds. This could be an external module or more commonly nowadays it would be a computer. So if I connect this keyboard with a MIDI cable to my computer, then I can get the sounds from the computer. This is a piano. But it could be anything else. It could be, for example, strings. So all the sounds I would like to use are in the computer and I can just assign the sounds to the, to the keyboard. And for example, I can also create more synthesizer sounds. So how does this relate to the music of the plants? If I replace this keyboard with this device here, the U1 device for the music of the plants, this device has the same kind of connection that this keyboard has. So if I take the cable that I am using for this keyboard here, the MIDI cable, and I plug it into this device, now this device is able to take the sounds from the computer the same way the keyboard did. Now what happens is that I can connect this device to a plant and the device will, um, will detect uh, changes in the um, electric potential between the roots and the leaves of the plant and will translate these signals into a MIDI kind of signals that can be read by the computer, can be, um, the computer can put a sound to these electrical um, variations happening in the plant. So, these are the two electrodes that um, are used to connect the U1 device to the plant. This one goes to the roots and this one goes to the leaf. So, if I plug this electrode here in the soil very delicately and I put it close to the roots of the plant and I place this other one here on the leaf and then I switch the device on and now the device is adjusting and reading the electricity from coming from the plant and it's already transmitting the signal to the MIDI cable and to the computer to get the sound 
So what I was doing before with the um, keyboard, now the plant is doing basically the same and it's using this device as if it was a keyboard. through these two electrodes that you have just seen and these connect the plant to the device the device uses the MIDI cable that I was using for the keyboard to go to the computer and get the sounds from the computer now the reason why I wouldn't use normally um, a common sound like a piano or strings or um, I don't know, a trumpet or whatever to, to make the music of the plants is because I like to create uh, a sound that conveys in some ways the, the, the fact that um, it, it's not common music that you're listening to it's not, it's not a person playing a keyboard or any other kind of instrument so to, to convey the, the, what, what's so special about the fact that we are actually listening to a plant um, playing, I I prefer personally prefer to use this kind of more etheric sounds. I hope this video is helping you to understand more the process. I hope it answers some of the questions I have received. And uh, thank you for your comments. Thank you for asking these questions and for following me on my channel. And feel free to visit my website to find more information. And also in the description of this video you will find also a link to the website of the producers of this device so you can also get some more information from them and thank you for watching and if you want you can subscribe my channel and see you soon